when you look at the drill guide on a Craig Pocket Old Jig 720 or 720 Pro, you'll notice that the guides aren't spaced evenly. Two are set close together and the third one's further away. Plus, there are some lines molded into the top of the drill guide block. This might seem confusing at first, but this is all done for a reason. By having different spacing options, you can be sure that you'll space the pocket holes at the best distance from one another when you're drilling into the end of a board. It's pretty straightforward, and here's how it works. These lines are pretty simple. They're the center of the hole you'll be drilling. The lines with the dots show you the center point between the holes, whether you're using these two, these two, or the outer two. So let's see how it works. If you're using a board that's an inch and a half to an inch and three quarter wide, you'll use the two closest holes. That way you can clamp it in place and get two pocket holes that are in a great position. And if you want to use the center line, that guide is there. For boards one and three quarter to two and three eighths inches wide, use these two holes on the left. There's a center point for them too. Finally, for boards two and three eighths to three and a half inches wide, you'll use the two outermost holes and this middle center point. So that makes it pretty easy. With the different hole spacing in the drill guide block, whatever width of board you're using, you can space the pocket holes at a distance between them that'll give you a really strong joint during assembly. And if you want to, you can even center them up exactly in the width of the board. Of course, with pocket hole joinery, exact hole positioning isn't critical because there's no pilot hole in the mating board, but with the 720 and 720 Pro, you can be as exacting as you want. Now, that's great for drilling into the ends of boards, but what about when you're working with a long board or a large panel like this one? It's pretty straightforward. We recommend a hole about an inch from the end and then every six inches or so in between. You can use any of the drill guide holes as you drill these pocket holes.